Hi, one of our viewers has recently asked us a question as regards why her color keeps going brassy and what she might do about it to get it to stop being. When you go so more brassy. than two levels, your color loses out. The, the color in the tube is, loses out to the natural tendencies of the hair. There's no way around that. So once you go past that second level, whatever is underlying pigment in your natural hair color, you are now subject to. That's not going to go away. So if you're getting brassy, it's because you're not, you've, you're trying to lift too light with the wrong product. That product needs to be a lightener, not a high lift tint, which is an oil bleach, uh, basically, uh, and not, not with regular color or permanent color either. So then she asks, would it be okay if she used a, uh, uh, in Majorelle, which is a color line out of L'Oreal Professional, if she used a uh, color that had a, a, an 01 series in it? Uh, say for instance like a 901 or a 9.1, which is blue. No, don't do that because the blue, basically blue has a very unique uh, component to it in that as it washes out, it, it too can wash out warm, red, brassy. Uh, so you would not want to do that. Try a neutral. Try a neutral in a demi-permanent color. Uh, so if you want to try a neutral, whatever your level is, if it's a level 9 now, uh, then try a level 9N in a demi. So maybe you would use Dialyte or you would use, well, any kind of a demi. Uh, Dialyte, Richess, any product line you'd want to. Uh, you might use a tone. The application should be up to and excluding the porous ends. Process for the first 10 minutes, save the rest for maybe the last five minutes. Be very, very careful. Watch it closely so that the ends do not go flat. What I would strongly suggest you do is, is don't go so light. If your hair is a level six, let's say, bring it up to a level eight, use regular color, regular permanent color uh, for the retouch, bring it up to a level eight, let it process for the full time because in that way, the dye load and the couplers can fully develop. And in permanent color, what that means is that the color locks in, stays, doesn't tend to fade out brassy at all. If you go too light, what happens is, is that it always goes brassy, you just never win. If you use a demi to tone with, what you're doing is you're using a product where the, where the uh, dye load and the couplers, basically, they, they develop quicker. And you want them to be fully developed because then the molecule is big enough, it won't just wash out of the hair. And that's what you want, for it to not just wash out of the hair. You want to watch it. If, if the hair, because it's long and it's curly in the case of this viewer, if the hair appears to be nice and neutral and it starts to look a little too deep, stop that. Don't let it run the full time. That should, in the broad sweep, that should give you the answer you need. Please let me know if I'm missing anything, if there's something that I might be more help with. That is what I would do in the salon. I recommend you be very cautious with it, and keep in mind that condition is key. So make sure that before you color it again, you've got a protein, a moisture, you've got your hair in good condition. It'll make a huge difference. Thank you for your question. Bye for now.